Hello, I'm Matthias Gallo Casarino and I'm from Italy. And uh, I train out of Seven Muay Thai Gym in Rayong, Thailand. And I live in Thailand from around 10 years. I'm 24 years old now. So I came here when I was around 14. Uh, over 70 fights and uh, around 40 wins and uh, a few draws and uh, losses. I won the WBC International Belt, uh, WPMF World Championship Belt and WMC Muay Thai Against Drugs Belt, Prachuap Kirikan Province Champion, also Max Muay Thai 62 kilogram uh, silver tournament and also uh, Australian belt. I started training Muay Thai because when I was very young, uh, we used to come to Thailand very often. Uh, so the first time I came to Thailand, I was around one and a half years of age. And uh, yeah, my father really liked Thailand and he really liked Muay Thai. So every year, every summer, we used to come to Thailand for a holiday. So I started watching my father train in, uh, in Thai gyms. And, but at first I just wanted like, to have a holiday and go to the beach. I didn't really want to train or work out. So at first it was like boring for me to watch him train, but still I used to watch him almost every day. And uh, yeah, when I grow a little bit older, when I was around six or seven, then I, I decided to try to train because I saw the kids, you know, like Thai kids playing on the ring and they were training, but they were playing, so it looked fun. So yeah, I just started, I just started training, but very like, just as a game, really. Yeah, my first professional fight was when I was 12 years old and uh, it was on Koh Samui in Lamai Stadium and uh, I was training in a local gym in Samui so yeah, it was like already a year or so that I was training kind of seriously so yeah, I just decided to try and uh, have a, like a proper fight so five rounds with elbows against a young Thai kid like me with zero fights as well so it was very it was perfect, you know, and uh, I won that fight on points and yeah, also after that fight I ended up not being able to walk back home because my shins hurt really bad, really like bad, but I guess that's normal and uh, yeah, that was it. My idol in Muay Thai always has been Wakao, so when he was, you know, the, the gold days in the K1 and yeah, it, was a, it still is a big idol of mine and uh, yeah, for Muay Thai I think him and of course I like all the other fighters, Sen Chai and uh, my friends Siti Chai and Kem, of course they are my idols too but as an idol I see more of Wakao in Muay Thai. Because he represents, like, uh, he's really the only fighter to be known like uh, very well known outside like the Muay Thai community, you know what I mean? So that's a goal for me, you know, like the problem in this sport for me is like that the fighters are only known in, the, in our community, you know, in the Muay Thai world. But uh, if, if we want this sport to grow and to become like football or like anything else, like uh, there has to be like proper promotion like Boa Cao Head and, you know, bring fighters to get, get well known like uh, all over the world you know like uh, also in people that don't really watch Muay Thai or don't really like uh, watch it as a you know often like MMA is doing now for example you know so by the occasion solid body kick from Chana Chai yeah my favorite fight is something very hard to decide which one is will be my favorite fight of all but if I really have to pick one I will pick the rematch against Rum Gravisa Siprapa because in our first fight um, we it was a draw we drew it was in Surin in North East Thailand in the Isan area so his hometown and uh, yeah it was a big event Bokao organizing and Senchai was fighting as well so yeah 
Uh, it was a draw and after that I was really looking forward to fight him again uh, soon. But it didn't, it didn't happen for at least two, three years. And uh, then we got the chance to have a rematch in Spain under the The Circle event. Uh, it was a very strange uh, new event where they had like a ring. It was like a square ring with eight uh, corners. So it looked like a shape of a cage, but it was a ring. So yeah, very new and very different. So we fought there under, under The Circle rules. And uh, yeah, I won the second fight. Uh, so yeah, I fought a very good fight, a great performance, and uh, I was happy with that fight also because it was a rematch. My hardest fight. Also hard to choose, but uh, for sure one of my hardest fights, it was the one in um, Max Muay Thai Con Ken. And I fought against uh, Sapan Pet or Kitty Sak, uh, two names. So yeah, it was a quite hard fight and uh, very tactical because uh, he was very strong and uh, he was coming from big wins in Lumpini and uh, Omnoi. So, yeah, I think I, I controlled the fight pretty good and uh, I set the pace and uh, he hit me with some very good kicks, but uh, yeah, in the end I could, I could win on points. Roberto Gallo Cassarino from Italy. I'm manager of Muay Thai and I manage the Seven Muay Thai gym in Rayong. Father of Matthias. Most know, most, many people know me as Father Matthias Father. And uh, because Matthias is famous and uh, I just support him, I just manage the, the gym. And about Matthias, you asked me what he had to improve, what is good skill. Matthias is very technical fighter. He start to do Muay Thai young and very strong in uh, everything. Just step by step in the, when start from baby to now, he improve every year the brain and he still have improved the brain because he have great potential and uh, he can most of fight that he lo lose, lose because brain only. No, not because he, he can lose. Of course, he meet strong fighters. Uh, for example, uh, one of the last for it was a French, French boy, big uh, and, and strong. And, but I think in uh, many other fight was, uh, and this fight, his brain was good, but uh, in many other uh, situation, he only luck was about, about brain. Because he born in uh, in Italy, but he grow in Thailand, and uh, he's not aggressive. Same, uh, he's not aggressive. Same uh, Italian. Same. We are from Sicily. I'm a most more very aggressive people, and he is he, not same me. He's very technical. I was a fighter. So I technical zero, only aggressive. He is aggressive one and nine technique. Then. He step by step when when start when was baby, uh, he he learned to be also aggressive. To before he was female, he controlled the fight, but difficult to attach. After he learned to attach, he learned to be to control his brain. And uh, I think step by step he can grow also more. Yeah, my goal um, right now, actually in the years back, my goal was to, be, to win like uh, this belt or that belt or this championship or that championship. But actually right now my goal is, of course, I would like to win championship, like, championships like the Lumpini belt or something. Or, but the main goal for me is to like uh, fight the best ties and uh, of course also the best Farang because now there's many, many Farang that are like foreigners that are coming up and they're strong, but fight the best and uh, the best names and beat them, of course. 
and uh, yeah, I try to get more known and more popular, uh, both in the Muay Thai community but also outside, because that's what that's what our sport need, you know, like uh, uh, to take it to the next level. So yeah, to be the best, get more known, and uh, uh, eventually win belts, and uh, yeah, be remembered after I end my career, be remembered as uh, one of the best fighters, one of the best foreigner fighters, but also one, one of the best fighters overall.